morning. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Good. Thanks for uh, hopping on. Sure. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. So, Robbie, uh, you know, this is clearly uh, a telehealth, uh, telehealth visit. Um, we're using Zoom as the video conferencing. And uh, for the purposes of today, we are recording. So I hope that is OK with you. Um, I just uh, I just need to confirm that you are who you are. So if there is any way, thank you. Um, if you could hold your idea, that's perfect. And that matches the picture on my screen and birth date on my screen. So beautiful. I have confirmed your identity and you know that I am Jennifer and uh, I, uh, would you like to see my license as well? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I did not have that set up. Oh my goodness, all right. I'm Jennifer, and you're having an evaluation. Ooh, there we go, with me. There we go. Cool. Right. Very good. All right, uh, and just in case of an emergency, are you, uh, can you just uh, remind me where you're located? Okay. All right, and your phone number in case we get disconnected or I need to do check out. Perfect. All right. Very good. All right, and you um, just uh, for the sake of um, you, you understand that we're doing the best we can in terms of privacy and and uh, HIPAA compliance, but that uh, there are no guarantees with the with the Zoom video conferencing. So we are we are following best practices as they are known today. Correct. Okay. Very good. And in the event of if we get disconnected or if I lose some information because I can't quite hear you or what have you, you are agreeing to hold us harmless um, in that. Correct. Okay, very good. Do you have any other questions about how this is gonna go? I think we're ready. All right, very good. So I, um, you, thank you for filling out your paperwork. Biggest difficulty, I think we're talking about neck complaint right now, right? Correct. Okay, so biggest difficulty is when you're turning your head to the right on your, um, when you're on the phone. That's, yeah, that's all I've got. And then that's not much better. Okay. All right, and turning your head when you're when you're um, trying to get up, back up your car. Right. And then sleeping. Either, either direction. <laughs> okay. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, when when the neck pain started? Um. Well, I have it off and on, but the COVID nineteen virus has made me sit at my <laughs> computer for hours on end. So. Yeah. So over the last two weeks, it's been worse because I've been sitting at my computer for 10, 12 hour days. Yeah. All right. So computers make it worse. Yeah. And I have a, you know, I think this is a contributing factor. I use one contact for um, close distance reading mm -hmm. and one contact for distance. Oh, okay. The middle it's hard. Zone is, is a little bit challenging. So I find myself. Yeah, I've got my computer screens pulled towards me, but you know, I'll find myself doing this to see in the middle zone. So, do you have headaches as well? Yeah, it, over the last two weeks, not normally, but yeah. Okay. How long um, prior to COVID nineteen? How long has the the next stuff been going on? This is probably not new, huh? Oh no, probably years, but yeah, not quite this bad. Okay, so so always at the computer, or how did you, when you? Just tell me a little bit about when it started and kind of what, what you know about it creeping up. Um, I've probably been dealing with it for five years, maybe, okay. off and on. Um, and it varies with intensity. So this is as bad as it gets. It yeah. gets better and goes away and then it comes back. All right. Well, like, and clearly sitting at the computer makes it worse. Anything else that make it work, makes it worse? No. Anything you can do to make it better? Not work. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's really bugging you, what do you do? What do you do to? to um, yeah, I get, I get the you know lacrosse ball out or something and foam roll and uh, yeah, yoga. But I try a little bit of everything, but that's primarily what I do. And you know, with the headaches. I'll take in a leave or something if it gets really bad. Okay. 
if you take an Aleve, does it help the headache and your neck pain? Not, not dramatically. Okay. And when your pain is at its worst, what is it? Zero to ten. Zero is nothing. Ten is excruciating. Uh, probably it's four. Okay. And how quickly does it resolve when you step away from your computer? Um, it'll hurt till I go to bed, and okay. then you wait, and then it. When you and then I, I sleep, and it's fun. Yeah. I, I do get a little tingling numbness in my hands when I sleep. Um, some of that just depends on, I think, what position I'm in, but, and it's bilateral, so, but it comes back when I move around. <laughs> you mean it resolves? Your feeling comes back when you move around? <laughs> what's, your favorite, what's your favorite sleeping position? <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite p sleeping position? Do you know? I typically sleep on my right side. So when you shift to your left side of your back, it goes away? Yeah. All right. So can you position yourself so that I can, so you can stand and I can see more of your yep. body? And I've got a, does it help? I've got this on underneath. That would be wonderful if you could take your shirt off there. Yep. I have to give you more of you. Yes, that's awesome. All right, so what I'm actually gonna have you do to begin with is, um, yep, no, uh, that's perfect. Go ahead and tuck your chin to your chest. Good, and come on up. Let's do that same thing turning sideways so I can see a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's perfect right there. Tuck your chin to your chest. Now, can you look down any further? Good, is that painful at all? Yeah. Where's it hurt? Right. Yeah. On the right and the left or central or right-sided more, left-sided more? More right. Okay. Okay, now turn to me. Good, and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to take your chin and try and tuck it to the middle of your collarbone. Painful? And come on up. Is that painful or okay? No, yeah, more here. Yeah. And that was your right. <laughs> okay, and um, do the same thing to the left. Tuck your chin, try and mid collarbone. Yeah. Okay. All right, now turn sideways again for me. Good, and can you um, look up to the ceiling? Good, step and come back down. And one more time, look up to the ceiling and come back down. Is that painful? Not really. Okay, turn so that your back is to me. Good, and I would like for you to take your right hand and you're gonna reach it behind your head and neck and try and touch your opposite shoulder. Shoulder blade, shoulder blade, sorry, yes, there you go. Good, and swing back down. And let's try that one more time in one smooth movement, same side. Good, and come back down. How is that? That's good. Okay, and let's do it with the other side. And back down. Good, one more. And back down, good, okay. Now we're gonna do something similar, but this time you're gonna reach from the bottom up. So your right arm is coming up behind your back to reach to the opposite shoulder blade. Yeah, good, and come back down. One more time, same side. Good, and just tell me where your hands are. Uh, about six, seven inches from the floor. Okay, come on up. Mid and where is that res feeling restricted? Restricted. Um, hamstrings for sure. Mm -hmm. And probably mid back. Yeah. Are you? Um, is that painful or just tight? Let's try one more time for me. Yeah. It's more just a stretch. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the next, you're still facing sideways. I'm going to show you what to do here. Uh, let's stay facing the same direction. So I just stay oriented. Okay. Um, okay. What I'd like you to do is you're actually going to stand with your feet hip width apart. So they're right underneath your hips. Mm -hmm. And um, 
I'm going to have you uh, take your arms and stack your hands one on top of the other and try and frame your ears. Yeah. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to have you arch backwards. But before you do this, I want to make sure you hold on before you do this. I want to make sure you're comfortable and you don't feel like you're going to fall over. Okay. If you feel like you're going to fall over, just stop the movement. Okay. okay. But um, if you're feeling pretty good, then let's go ahead and arch backwards. Your hips can come forward, your head, yeah, and arch back. Good, and come on up. Okay, one more. And that same painful spot on the right lower quadrant? Yeah. Okay, all right, very good, take a little break. So um, I would also just like to do a little bit of strength testing. All right. Um, just to get an overall sense of fitness. So um, the, there are three tests that I would like to do. I would like to do a sit to stand test, okay? okay. Just wanna know how many times you can sit to stand from a chair um, until you get fatigued. How old are you again? 56. Yeah, until, you're, until fatigue, thank you. Um, and then um, I'd like to do a push-up test. If okay. you can do a push-up test uh, without pain from your knees, that'd be okay. fine. Okay, and then the other test I'd like, uh, I'd like to do a two minute march test to just see how many marches you can do okay. in two minutes. Okay, those are the kind of the conditioning things. And then I'll do a, an abdominal test. So actually there are four tests. Okay. okay. All right, so let's start with the sit to stand. There we go. All right, so how this is gonna work is you're really gonna perch, okay? So you, so you start sitting, you're gonna come to the front of the chair. Okay, okay, your feet are hip width apart and you're gonna have your hands across your chest and you're gonna stand up and sit down as many times as you can until you're fatigued or okay. until I tell you to stop. The one okay. thing you wanna make, you do have to touch the chair. Okay. You don't wanna settle into the chair, okay? So on your, on your ready, I'll start counting. Ready? Mm -hmm. And one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Keep going. If you got sixteen, seventeen, eight, nine. No pain with any of that. Other than <laughs> How's your neck pain as you're doing this? That's pretty good. All right, good, beautiful. So your neck pain's feeling pretty good right now? Yeah, that doesn't bother me. Well, uh, so I'm actually, actually actually asking a different question though. Does oh. it feel better? Probably. Yeah, so that's a good lesson right there, right? That just getting up and exercising, getting yeah. blood flowing, just getting different things moving, getting out of that fixed position is gonna help you already. Uh, so push-ups, um, I would like to be able to see your form on this, if there's any way you can move your screen. It will be kneeling. Okay, and the way this actually is done is that your, your shins, this is unusual, but your shins actually stay on the floor. Okay. Yep, there you go. All right, and you're doing, again, as many as you can to fatigue. All right, why elbows back? Uh, I'm just going to have you keep your elbows comfortable, okay? okay. But you're right. trying to get that chest to the floor. Okay. okay. Go Good. ahead. Yeah. That's all I got. Okay. Good. That was well done. While you're here in that position, can I have you lie on your back? Sure. Good. Can you see me now? I can, it's perfect. All right, and I'd like you to put your hands in, um, lift your tush up and put your hands in the small of your back. Okay. Yeah, good. Now, can you feel um, the weight of your spine resting into your fingers? Uh-huh. Good, I want you to make sure that you maintain that pressure as evenly as possible, okay? Okay. Um, pull your right knee to your chest. Good, and then pull your left knee to your chest. Okay, so now you feel increased pressure, right? Right. Into your hands? Yeah. 
Okay, so that's what I'm getting you to, I want you to try and maintain. So Robbie, um, try and stretch your, your feet towards the ceiling, straighten your knees so your feet go towards the ceiling. Is that okay? Yep. Is that pretty comfortable? Yeah. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start to lower your legs towards the floor. But before you do that, let me explain. The moment you feel the pressure coming off your hands, you gotta back up just a okay. little bit. And then that's where you're gonna hold the position and I'll time you. All right. Okay, you ready? All right. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Go ahead and low, lower. Ooh, back up a little bit right there and hold as long as you can. As soon as you feel the weight shifting off your hands, you gotta stop. How you doing? Wobbling. <laughs> yep, you feel your tummy working? Oh yeah. Good. You want me to breathe and talk while I do this? <laughs> I kind of do, yeah, exactly. All right, take a break. All right, so you had pretty good endurance, but definitely want to be able to, to use those abdominals through more range. All right, while you're there, go ahead. You're on the floor still. Okay. There you go, all right. Um, can you retract your chin, that's it, and levitate your head? That's plenty, and rest. Come back down. All right, so you don't even have to levitate your head as high um, okay. as you were going. Okay, you're going to retract your chin and levitate. You're just trying to clear the back of your head. And let's see how long you can hold that. Okay, ready? You ready? Yep. Rest. Rest. Good. All right, let's try that one more time. Here we go. Okay. Yep. Good. How'd that feel? Uh, Did that increase your headache at all? It didn't feel good. Okay, it was hard. No, it's no worse. <laughs> okay. All right, last thing for um, exercise testing. Let me have you standing up. Okay, so turn sideways for me. And do you see that line in your um, your closet door there? Um, yeah. Kind of, yeah, so, but it's the horizontal line, it's halfway down, it's probably where your door handles are. Yeah. Okay, I want you to lift your knee up okay. to that level, to that height. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're going to do alternating knee marches. Okay. Um, and I'm going to count every time your right leg goes up, and we're going to do okay. it for two minutes, and I'm just going to take a count of how many you can do. Okay. All right, on your mark, get set, go. I agree. All right, you're done. Good job. All right, you can rest for a moment. Okay, Chair stand, you're in the hundredth percentile. Woohoo! Woohoo! All that working out, paying off. That's right, that's awesome. You did 14, you're in the 70th percentile for push-up. Awesome. 50th percentile for two minute march. Cause I have no push-off on that left foot. <laughs> Say again. I don't have any push-off on that left foot. <laughs> oh, cause it hurts, that's right. We need to deal with your left foot. <laughs> that's not no. true. Oh goodness, all right. So um, here's what I know, uh, Robbie. Um, just from, from looking is that, yeah, have a seat. We can just try it. Uh, you know, from a, from a, a conditioning perspective, you know, you're in general, generally in, in, in pretty good shape. Upper, upper body is of course, not as strong as lower. Um, aerobics, maybe not as, as much as we want, but we do know that when you do, when you get aerobic, things actually feel better. So that's number one is, you know, step away from the computer. <laughs> Get away from the computer. And did I see what other kind of exercise equipment do you have there? 
Did I everything. see something aerobics? You have everything. So you've got a, I bike. a bike. I have a trampoline. Yeah. I have an elliptical machine. Ah, so I really like the ellipticals in particular. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll tell you why. Because where I notice, uh, oh, you know what? I did forget. To, I forgot one thing that I actually would really help me to see. I apologize. No problem. Uh, I, I, actually, I'm, I'm going I'm to come in closer. Uh, I'm going to hone in a little bit more in, in a minute anyway. But um, I like the elliptical because the elliptical is going to get your, your body moving in reciprocal motion. Okay. And I think that's really going to help you. What I notice mostly is neck very stiff. You could have told me that, but I also noticed that your thoracic spine is really stiff. You've got a lot of range of motion through your shoulders and your shoulder girdle, but they're moving on ribs that are very stiff and a rib cage that is very stiff. So, you know, if you think about that rib cage is stiff and then your, 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 all of your eye movement and your head movement and your neck movement sort of have to come from above that, um, that uh, rib cage and that area is being exploited and it's tired and it's fatigued, right? And you just, so you've got, you've got a lot of stiffness there. Okay, so I think that we, if, as we increase the range of motion in your thoracic spine, then we're going to be able to stand down the muscles in your cervical spine. And so then we can start to um, get better mobility. They don't have to work as hard. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, and the other piece is that, you know, as you, you know this, as you peer at your screen, right, as you're trying to right. find that distance with your eyes. So again, if, if we don't have a glasses solution for that right now, and you, you know, you know where your computer needs to be, and we'll talk about that in a minute, then getting up and walking away. And even if you're doing five minutes on the elliptical and then coming back, that's really going to help with mobility. It's going to help with increasing your cardiovascular system, which automatically is going to start to bring down some of the, the muscle tension um, and decrease some of the pain. Okay. So that's kind of generally what, what, um, what I'm uh, kind of seeing and, and understanding. A um, couple of things. Uh, while you're sitting there, I actually am going to ask you to do some soft tissue palpation for me. Okay. Okay, I want you to touch some muscles and let me know which ones are the most sore. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're going to start at the front, right? And if you, you've got these, these big muscles that are kind of like reins, right? Are those, and you, if you track them up, you can track them up to your chin and then track them up to right below your ears. Are those particularly sore for you? Not terrible. Okay, so that's not really where your pain is. Yeah. No. Okay. Probably more right at my ears than anywhere else. Okay. Okay, so as long as you're at your ears, right? Mm -hmm. Right at your, right below on that bony point that's kind of, it's uh, just behind your earlobes, that little bony point, that's where that's kind of sore? Yeah. yeah. All right. So if you step, keep stepping behind and walking the base around the base of your skull, and you can let your fingers kind of sink in there, is that pretty? Tell me what that feels like. So right at the base of my skull, mm -hmm. you know. Yep. And if you really want to test it, just nod your head up and down a little bit. Yeah. That that's pretty sore. Yeah. And is that more your pain? That's that's a good headache spot. That's a good headache spot. And it's more, you know. Um, if I'm going to act like your normal patient, I wouldn't say the head of the little Vader, but there you go. <laughs> uh, say again. More levator insertion. Yeah, versus suboccipital? Correct. Okay. Well, you wouldn't tell me that because you <laughs> Because <laughs> the normal patient wouldn't know that. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna sort that out in just a minute. What I really want you to do, though, is um, so rather than uh, come back to your to your mastoid spots. Yeah, come back okay. to it. Yeah, and I want you to slip back until you really can sink in. And as you're nodding your head, you feel your fingers sinking in. Yeah, and it's just a little knot. It's not a big one. That those those deeper muscles. That's what I want to know. They're pretty deep. Yeah. No. Is that is that your headache spot? No. Okay. So then you're going to walk a little closer. Fingers are a little closer, and that becomes more of your headache spot. Correct. 
Okay, that's what you were telling me. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then if you come to your side, you know, uh, we were we were just pinching that really big long rain muscle, but if you come back in you're right behind it and you start to just walk your fingers up the side of your neck and you can turn your head to and away. Any of that sore? Not particularly? No. Good. And then right on the back, the big bulk, right? That's your upper trap. Okay. How about that? Um, well, upper trap's just really tight. Okay, but not necessarily, it's tight, but not necessarily your pain. Correct. How about on the other side? Let's go again to that big rain muscle, SCM. You know as SCM, patients don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you're gonna walk right behind it and just side of your neck, side of your neck, and you're gonna turn away and to, away and to. Sore? Not really. Okay. And then again to that upper trap. Most people know upper trap. Yeah, actually right on the top. On the top, on, on the left side, the top. And is that part of your chief complaint? Is that part of your, your pain or is you just noticing it's pretty? It's a pretty good spot that I didn't know was there. Spot. Okay. <laughs> So your right trap, negative, left trap, we'll call positive. Okay, good. And then while you're just sitting there nicely, now I really do want to come in a little closer to your, um, to your uh, neck movement, okay? Okay. So if you could go ahead and turn your head straight, uh, when I say straight, not on this diagonal, but if you can just turn your head to the right. Mm -hmm. Good, and come on back. Turn your head to the left. Back. Is there any way that you can turn your chair so that you are facing um, facing the right? Turn your chair to the right, quarter turn. Yeah, there you go, and then turn to me. Good. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. So you're gonna flip around. <laughs> no, you gotta flip your chair around so I can. <laughs> good, good for the rolling chair. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's much harder than the other side. Yep. Okay. And then you're facing me again. And if you could take um, <clears throat> your ear and just tip your ear to your shoulder. Yeah. Okay. And come on up and tip your ear to the other shoulder. Whew. And come on up. All right, where does that hurt you? Where is that hard? Right. right it's there. hard down there? Yeah. <clears throat> in both, in both the right tip and the left tip. It hmm. hurts in the same spot. It hurts on the right side, in both the right tip and the left tip. Okay, all right. Um, <clears throat> And last set of tests, and then we're gonna then we're gonna start to treat you. <laughs> okay? Can you back your chair away? Um, <clears throat> I need to see trunk rotation, seated trunk rotation from behind. There you go. Perfect. All right, hands across your chest for me. Okay. Good. And can you rotate to the right as far? Twist around to the right as far as you can. Okay. And come on back. Twist it around to the left as far as you can. Okay, one more time each direction. Okay. Rest. Okay, and if we can, um, uh, nope, nope, you're still there. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> if you can just lean, take your, uh, go ahead and side bend to the right. This way? No, 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 you're gonna face the clock, but I want you to lean over to the right. Oh. Oh. There you go. I don't love the way this is looking, so I'm just gonna have you stand up. Okay. I think you need you need your feet here, and your hands are gonna, so feet are hip width apart, bring them in a little closer. 
Oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, a little closer still. <laughs> there you go. And you're going to go ahead and side bend. Let your right arm drag along. There you go. Come on up and switch. Okay, and come on up. So left side. And one more time each side. Good. Left side harder than right? Yeah, probably. A little bit. Okay. All right. Very good. Go ahead and sit down in your chair, in your rolling chair, I think. Okay. okay I'm going to start actually with um, trying to give you a little bit more more extension and more mobility in your thoracic spine. So you're going to come, uh, yep, so you can turn sideways. And I want you to hug your thighs. And I want you to bring your right hand behind your neck, reaching down your spine. So reach your fingers down your spine and you're going to try and frame your ear. Yep. And in that position, don't let go of the hug of your thigh, but I want you to open up your rib cage at your elbow and your rib cage to the right. Yep. And come back down. Nine. That's it. How does that feel? Good. Ten. Good. Let's try it on the other side. So it's you're hard. Yeah. Say again. It's a little bit difficult, but I can I can do it. So and when you're feet where you're feeling it should be kind of right in the middle of your back, yeah? Yes. Kind of between your shoulder blades. That's what yeah. I'm looking for. Perfect. Let's try the other side, yep. So, yep, walking those fingers down. Mm -hmm. You're almost, your fingers are almost pointing at where we want you to feel this. Okay. Yep. That's it. Good. Good. Take a little break and come on up. All right. So that's, that is your first home exercise. Okay. Um, and I really want you to, kind of we'll do this in sort of three times a day okay because okay. i think that you start to get locked down all right so that's the first one the reason we do that one first is i'm trying i'm using rotation as a way to warm up your thoracic spine so that we can start to, to open it up we can start to stretch it up and then we're going to do some strengthening um but we also are going to need to deal with your neck um so i but i want to start with thoracic spine so that's your first okay okay um, and then you're turning sideways, is, turn your chair sideways, and you're going to sit all the way back. This one I need to kind of show you. Your arms are across your chest, and you're going you're gonna to drop your chest. You're going to drop your head and your neck in your sternum down. And then you're going to lean back over your chair to just try and give a little bit of um, kind of a leverage point right over your thoracic, right in the middle of your thoracic spine. Okay. So you cross, yep. You're going to sink down through your sternum, yep. And then right there, you sh you're going to try and arch that. Keep your keep your elbows down. Keep your elbows down. Keep your elbows. That's it. Do you start to feel a little bit of a stretch right in the middle of your thoracic spine? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Don't change anything about. Oh, come back. That's fine. That's fine, just take a little break and then we'll go back in because I'm gonna add a little nuance to that. All right, so you sink down. Yeah, arch back, good. And then from here, you can steer your elbows to the right and to the left. Good, and take a little break. All right, rest. So, we essentially use the corkscrews, the thoracic corkscrews, to bring mobility and fluidity into that thoracic spine. And then we're get using something more specific where we're really trying to help with extension in your thoracic spine, okay? You can do it in the chair. You can also do that on the foam roller lying on your back with your knees bent in supine, you know, in hook lying position. Yeah. So whatever's easiest for you, but the idea of finding that spot um, in your thoracic spine, and there may be a couple of levels where, where it's, it's hard for you to get into extension. It's hard for you to just open up. We want, it, we want to give the thoracic spine the chance to open up a little bit so that your, then your neck doesn't have to make up the differences. Okay? All right. How, do you, how, how does that feel right now? Good. Feel pretty good? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now you're facing me. Okay. 
and your feet are on the ground, okay? Yeah. And I want you to, I actually want you to um, come right under your, that bony point under your ears so that you're really sinking in to your cervical spine, very high up on your cervical spine. If you can imagine you're, you're at C1, so you're at the first vertebrae right underneath your head, okay? But not in the back, you really are on the side. Okay. Okay. And what I want you to do while you're holding your fingers down, let's drop your elbows down. Yep. So they're resting forward. Okay. I want you to turn your head to the right. And I want you to turn your head to the left. Okay. As you turn your head to the right, I want you to increase the pressure on your right side, your right hand. Okay. And then as you turn your head to the left, I want you to increase the pressure on your left hand okay rest take a break it, one of those directions was probably easier and one of those directions was harder which direction was harder for you drop your, <laughs> drop your elbows drop your elbows you just rest them down i don't want your arms working so hard there you go right started yeah, okay. So I want you to practice the right. We're gonna do it five times in a row. But one of the things I want to make sure you do is that you truly do a rotation and not a head tilt, okay? okay. So in order to do that, hold on, you got, you got to have the, the nose to chin's got to stay vertical. And you're just gonna float your chin to the right and push in with your right hand. And come back to center. Good. Stay no, nose and chin stay vertical. Move your chin a little bit faster than your nose. And come back to center. And I know that's pretty owie, but you're doing your own manual therapy for me right now. <laughs> back to center. And one more. Good, take a little break. Ah, rub, 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 rub. Good, come on down. Good, and then let's try and turn your head to the right. That better? It's better. Yeah. All right. How about to the left? That was okay anyway. That wasn't so bad. But it's a little bit better, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you just did your own manual therapy um, to your first cervical vertebrae. Okay. And what happens is that first cervical vertebrae is like a ball bearing and it's supposed to travel. Um, uh, depending on the, the direction that your head is moving, it's either traveling with your head or it's traveling in the opposite direction. So when you turn your head to the right, that ball bearing is actually supposed to be shifting to the left. And so that's what you were doing is you were reminding that ball bearing of what it's supposed to do. So that is, uh, you, you have three exercises now, right? The, you have the corkscrews, you have the thoracic extension, and then you're gonna come right in and you're gonna say, okay, cervical, suboccipital C1, you're going to remember what to do, okay? And you're really going to focus for the time being on, on that right rotation. Your chin has to travel faster than your nose. Okay, yes, because otherwise you end up doing side bending. So let you think about your chin going first, okay? All right, one more neck exercise, okay? And this is, again, these are, we're really working on mobility exercises because that's what's happening is you're stiff. Okay, um, the, uh, the, so instead of being on the side, now you're gonna be in the, right in the back. <clears throat> but I don't want you to be all the way, I don't want you to be all the way around to the back. You're gonna be halfway between the very center of, of your, your uh, cervical vertebrae and, and that, that bony point right here, okay? Where your fingers really sink in. Yep. And again, you're gonna nod your head forward and back so that you can really find that spot, the highest spot on your neck possible. Okay. Okay, where, um, yeah, it's, it's right below your occiput, okay? Got it. All right, so now what you're gonna do is as you drop your chin forward, you're gonna pull your fingers forward. And again, it's a little owie. And as you drop your chin forward, you're gonna pull your fingers forward. Okay, and you nod up and down. And you only increase that pressure as you're nodding forward. Mm -hmm. Somebody's hammering. Yeah, can you stop the recording? I'll stop the hammering. Do you want me to stop the recording? <laughs> yeah. No. All right, good. How do you feel? 
Okay. Tuck your chin to your chest. A little easier. Better. Yeah. Try on the diagonals. There we go. A little further. Try on the diagonals. That's still hard right there. Yeah. That's still hard. Okay. So you, that's, those are your neck. You, I gave you two exercises to improve the mobility of your thoracic spine, and I gave you two exercises um, to improve the mobility of your neck, okay? And so then we do need to do some stretching, all right? Those were really more joint specific. Now we need to stretch some muscles, okay? Um, and let's go ahead and start with your trap. Even though that wasn't, <clears throat> they were tight and not necessarily the generators, let's go ahead and start with those. So your right okay. hand's gonna come behind your waist. Okay. And then you're gonna tip away. Okay. And while you're on this tip, you're gonna nod your head, yes. Good. Yeah, I'm a big fan of kind of going through mobility rather than sustained stretching. Okay. Somehow it's easier on necks, feels a little better. And then you're going to stop on the down stroke okay. and nod your head no. There you go. And that should get all the way up into your levator. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we do an upper trap and then right into a levator. Okay. Okay. Good. And let's rest and let's go to the other side. So now your left hand is behind your head and your waist, sorry. And you tip away. Oh, sorry, tip away. <laughs> I'm trying to be your mirror. Good, and nod your head. Yes? Yes, first. Yes, first. Good, stop on the downstroke and nod your head no. Good. Okay. All right, there you go. So, um. Robbie, under normal circumstances, what I would do is I'd have you work on this for two to three days, and then we'd come back, see where your range of motion is, see how your symptoms are, and then I would actually add some strength training in, particularly for your, your shoulder, um, your upper back, and your, um, uh, your interscapular muscles, the muscles between your shoulder blades. Um, I, uh, and I'm happy to do that with you. I, I wouldn't want to do more right now, because typically that's there's sort of a lot and, and we only, you know, we only want to do a little bit at a time, so. Makes sense. Right. And then um, would you typically email these to? Yep. 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 Yes, I will follow up with the email. Um, so you'll know what your exercises are, the order that I would prefer them in, and uh, how many repetitions to do. Perfect. Okay. All Very right. good. Any other questions for me? I think that's great. All okay. right. Work to do. <laughs> you have work to do, indeed. 